Hello everyone, it's Teo Shante Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is October 1st and I have my October bullet journal all set up and ready to go. I'm excited to flip through and show you how I'll be using my bullet journal for this month. Before we get started with October, we're going to take a quick flip back to September and make sure I have finished filling out everything for September. So my theme for September was fireflies and I used the fireflies kit from Paper Trail Plans so beautiful absolutely loved creating these spreads I actually ended up filling out all of the boxes on my movies and tv page which does not always happen um but i guess i've run that that many boxes this month filled out my playlist i need to fill in my social media stats so uh september ended with my tiktok number at 10 24 for Instagram, I have 6, 9, 24. Interesting, those both end with 24. <laughs> I guess that's kind of cool. And then for YouTube, 3, 9, 6, 6. And my YouTube, I know, is up a bit because I actually started posting again in September. So that was very good for my YouTube. For my order tracker, I actually just got a notification this morning that my Panda Bird design order has shipped. Uh, my Archer and Olive new notebook for next year is on the way, which I'm very much looking forward to. I'm sure I'll be getting the September mystery kit sometime soon in October. Uh, I got, oh, my Whisper Kid from TaylorMade Creative shipped. Very excited about that because that should be the kit that I'm using for my November setup. So I cannot wait to see that one. That is it for my order tracking. I did end up getting bingo a couple of times. Was very, very proud of myself. I did a really good job with my self care for the month of September. So I'm very happy with how that all came together. And I really do enjoy doing the self care bingo. It's just a very, very fun and easy way to like make a little list of self care habits to um, make sure you're keeping up with yourself throughout the month. For my highlights for September, I did go ahead and fill this out. I'm just gonna leave that inside the pocket because I have written down my highlights for the month and I do wanna just keep that private, but I love, 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 love this pocket and this little girl on the insert. Absolutely adorable. This is something I didn't, well, one, I started it like more than like halfway through the month um, because I did an Instagram live with Danny of Danny with a Planny and Cassie of Sweet Like Honey Plants. At the time that we were deciding to do the Instagram Live, I'd already completed my setup for the month, right? I had done all of the typical pages that I do in my normal eight page setup. And so I sat down to do the live and I was like, what am I going to plan? I had no idea. So decided to pull in a habit tracker. I've been walking on my walking pad every morning. And so I wanted to keep track of how many miles I was going and the time that I've been spending on there. Um, and I... Uh, did not do a great job of actually keeping up and remembering to like write things down every day. That's a, an interesting one for me because I have my bullet journal set up so that it's not something that I have to go into on a daily basis. It's um, like if I pop in once a week or once every other week because once I have it set up it's pretty much like set and good to go and that's the thing I love about my bullet journal. Um, and so that was something I was like not fully prepared to keep up with on a daily basis but that said I was very happy with creating that as well as the prayer list that I included um and was very happy to do that so that's it for September now moving into October for October the theme is pumpkin patch and I used this beautiful kit from Sadie Stickers the kit is called Spice and it had all of these amazing beautiful pumpkins in there. I absolutely loved the colors, the rich berry tones and the oranges and browns. It all just came together so beautifully and I used gold foil with this spread so we can see all of the shiny foil <laughs> that makes me so incredibly happy. Uh, I'm, I'm a very simple person and easy to entertain. 
you dangle foil in front of me it's like dangling a string in front of a cat it is it is thoroughly entertaining for me um anywho so we have my cover page which begins with just the calendar for the month uh i love the quote on here it says little by little day by day what is meant for you will find its way um and so we've got that done then my second page is my important dates page most important thing that is happening this month my bestie ray who is gathered plants on youtube and instagram is getting married and i cannot wait um i will be flying out um so that i can go out to her wedding because she lives on the opposite side of the country than me um but i'm really excited to fly out go to her wedding and I'm also looking forward to meeting up with Alicia and Jess. So B's unable to come with me. It is uh, just in full honesty and transparency. Financially, that was not in the cards for us at the moment for both of us to be flying out. Um, and so the timing of this just was unfortunate in that way. But um, it's all going to work out. It's actually going to turn into a girl's trip. I am meeting up with Alicia of Sadie Stickers and Jess of Panda Bird Design. And the three of us will be um, sharing an Airbnb and we're going to just have a really fun girls trip and get a chance to hang out with Ray and celebrate with her. So it's going to be a really fun weekend and I cannot wait. Uh, so that is what I have down. And then as different things come up throughout the month, I will just write them down here. And I love that it gives me a nice way to kind of have an overview and like a month at a glance of like what's kind of the important and big things that are happening. That way I can be sure to prepare. For my movies and TV page, I did go ahead and create an interactive page for this one. And I am so happy with how this came out. This just has a little insert that tucks into um, the slot here and then you just lift that up and on the inside I will just write down all of the movies and tv shows that I watch for this month so I love the way this came out this was a lot of fun I started this on a youtube live so I did get a chance to film this um, and then I did finish up a few additional touches because I could think I know I added this after I was finished with the live the corners that was so much fun to add um I knew I wanted something in these corners and I needed it to be like a, not something like overwhelming and not taking up too much space. And these are full box, um, like uh, trim outline, full box outline stickers. And because I don't use full boxes, I really hadn't thought about them. And I was looking through my stickers and trying to figure out what I wanted to put in this space. And I came across and I was like, that is exactly what I want. It was so perfect. I love that little detail and I really think it just helps finish off the page and really pulls the whole thing together. Just absolutely obsessed. I have my playlist page prepped. Excited to start adding in some music that I'm listening to for this month. I will also be adding in any podcast or auto, audible books that I listen to as well this page oh my gosh I am so excited about this one now let's take a quick moment and talk about um Tay's failure <laughs> just I don't know how else to like like say that without it just being just brutally honest so my original plan when I started doing my YouTube lives was I was going to go through each and every page of this setup and do it on YouTube live and share that with you guys I by the time I got to this page and I was working on it on the YouTube live I was immediately overwhelmed um, and did not handle the stress and pressure of trying to keep up with filming and getting my um, bullet journal actually set up. And that I feel like it's one of those situations where I keep coming to that when it comes to YouTube, um, where it's it's it can sometimes be really hard to sit, relax, be creative and enjoy that space where I'm creating which is the fun part of what I'm doing in my my journals my planners whatever I'm working on and for me a lot of times that doesn't include talking um it, it literally I just want to sit quietly turn on music and it allows my brain to just be creative and, and have and enjoy it and have fun and if I'm just being totally honest I was incredibly stressed <laughs> nervous as all heck like it was it was a very very difficult experience um doing the youtube video for this so my thought process at this point is that 
what I may have to do if um, if there are certain techniques that I'm showing in my YouTube videos or not, excuse me, if there are certain techniques that I have in my journal that you guys are interested in seeing how I did them, I'm going to have to just create like a mock secondary spread and just recreate something I've done and show it to you guys that way. Because trying to um, figure out what I want my like because I, I I feel very free in my bullet journal in ways that I didn't it felt inhibited when I was using my planner and so to have the opportunity to be very free thinking and very free in the way I approach how I put together my bullet journal is a part of why this brings me so much joy and so the pressure of having to try to um do that while i'm live and on camera trying not to have those moments where i'm just sitting not putting anything on the page not moving not doing anything but allowing myself to just kind of breathe and think and place things down and kind of move them around it is it is for me a much slower process and then when i'm doing that on a live that that feels like oh i'm just leaving all this dead time and this isn't interesting for people to watch and this is it's 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 much more difficult in that way and then on the flip side of that, I don't unfortunately have the time to film and edit the way that I used to. That doesn't fit into my schedule. And if I could, that would be that would be the better way to go, right? Then I could I could um, film the way I normally would and wouldn't have to worry about those dead zones because I could edit them out. But unfortunately, that doesn't fit into my schedule. So I think the compromise at this point is going to have to be that I have to um, that I, I will have to allow myself to be creative do what it is i want to do and then if there are things that you guys want to see different techniques i'll have to just recreate them in my um my little um, practice journal that i have and that way i can share with you all what i did but it doesn't have to stop me from actually creating the spread that i need to create for the month um because it, it literally i was like oh my god i'm running out of time it's gonna be october i haven't finished the rest of my setup and the reason I haven't done it is because I am terrified of getting back on another live because I don't think I'm going to create the spreads that I would want to create. And I don't think I'll be happy with the result of them because of the pressure of trying to film it and trying to get it done in a time frame where it's engaging and entertaining and, and I'm in the right mood to be live. Uh, there's, I, I'm very much, very much was in my head about all of that. Anywho, that's how we got to... Tay finishing up the last three pages of this setup without them being on YouTube Live, although that was my original intention that I very much intended originally to do all of this. Um, but then I got to this page and I was so glad I was not live because it gave me the space to stop and breathe and rethink this page because I have been doing this um, where... For last month, the only thing I did was track the social media and then I had the calendar at the top. And it used to be that this page was used to track my kits. I'd have a playlist on one side and a kit tracker on the other side. I no longer need to track kits um, in my setups because I stopped using my rings planner. So I'm not tracking the weekly kits that I would be using in my rings planner because I no longer use one. Um, but as I was sitting down, I was thinking about the fact that I did, while I did not use it very well, I did really like the concept of this particular habit tracker, which is just my mile tracker, uh, which I can go ahead and write down because today is the first week of October and the first begins on Tuesday. Um, and I walked 1.10 miles this morning uh, and I'm not like ever going to have like huge mile numbers I'm not going to be one of those people who's just like I walked eight miles today that's not gonna happen but I am curious to see like and track throughout the month how how much how many miles I'm walking um cumulatively throughout the month and I think that's going to be something that I'm really going to be glad that I tracked at the end of the month I am very much working on trying to put myself in a, a really healthy place um I also have sciatica and walking each morning it's one of the first things I do is just get on my walking pad in the morning because it helps to wake those muscles up in a very gentle way that's not overwhelming or stressing. I'm not running or jogging. I'm literally just walking. Um, and so 
it gives me time to get my body warmed up get those muscles warmed up and then i get a chance to stretch and so um and it helps because then i'm in less pain throughout the day so because that is a habit that i'm trying to be consistent with i do love the fact that i am going to be tracking that and so this is a new addition to my setup that i am very happy with uh, then I have my socials over here, which of course at the end of the month, I will track the numbers for my social. Love actually, I really love the, the um, that I went with the little circle bubbles this time. That was super fun to do. And this doll from Taylor Made Creative Planning, she is the whole mood, the whole vibe. I love, this is one of my favorite pages in this setup. And I, I am like, I I, that makes me so happy. I love when I create a page that I just really enjoy staring at because the stickers are so cute. The colors are so pretty. And this one just, I mean, this this is giving me like everything I love about my um, types of planners and decorative pages. This just makes me so happy. I love when a journal is just super cute. You want to look at it, open it up and turn to that page. Then, of course, I have my order tracker set up. I cannot wait to do some sticker shopping for this month and so i know i'll be placing orders with sadie stickers and paper trail plans and all the rest of my favorite shops and tailor made creative and all of that so i have this set up and ready to um write down all of my sticker orders for this month now i did just decide to incorporate something new into my setup for this month i decided to try out weekly spreads and so what I did like about this concept was I could create a very simple weekly spread where I've got one full week on one page and I just decorate sort of like a very simple framework for it, separate all of my different boxes for my days. And then what I'm doing in here is literally just writing, not adding any additional boxes, any stickers, any, anything like that. Uh, once I have the framework down, then it's just about taking a pen to paper and just writing and using it that way. And so um, that was the original concept of giving that a try. I did go ahead and create a mock spread for this. And so I was excited to give it a try and put it into my October setup because I thought it would be something that I would enjoy. Uh, my next live video will be me um, creating the second week right next to this um, first week um, and I do love the fact that I can fully prep out the entire month before um, the month gets started if I'm if I'm ahead of myself it's not something I have to do on a weekly basis and decorating um, spreads on a weekly basis I'm using the leaf kit from Sadie stickers this is the leaf decorated decorative kit from Sadie stickers um, to decorate these spreads and the images in this kit are just so beautiful I totally did not notice when I first got started because this is that same gold washi tape that I used here I put here and I did not notice at first that um, this was rose gold it is not gold <laughs> this kit is filled in rose gold and so I put down all of my day scripts, the month, I'd put all of that down in gold. I'd put down this gold bottom washi. I'm not changing the gold bottom washi because it actually does not bother me, but I did have to change everything else because that was, it was just like, oh my gosh, this is, mm. I, I didn't care for the, the I didn't want to go with the mixed metals for this. And I wasn't intentionally trying to mix metals. I just didn't realize it was rose gold. Sometimes rose gold and gold can look very similar if you're not paying super close attention. Um, and I and I was not in that moment. Um, I will say this. Um, I'm definitely excited to go ahead and um, create the second piece, the second week, and share with you all how I created this because it is such a very simple way to create a weekly spread in a bullet journal. And that was something I definitely wanted to share. For myself personally, I don't see myself continuing to do this. Um, once I got it done, I was underwhelmed and like and really over it. Um, at the moment, I do have a separate planner that I'm already just writing in. Um, and one of the things I'm starting to learn about myself that um, that, I, that I'm very much working on, and it, it is a work in progress for me, um, trying to find that balance between like when you're sharing things on social media and you're sharing all of your spreads and things like that, people give you really great feedback. And I want to start off by saying I am so appreciative of that. But I l allowed other people's feedback to make me create a spread that I didn't want for myself. This wasn't for me. This was because a lot of people kept asking me, what about your weekly spreads? 
the thing with bullet journaling that really pulled me into it was the realization that your bullet journal is about making your bullet journal fit you and not making you fit your bullet journal. That was what, um, when I really let that concept sink into my head, that was what made me decide to go into a bullet journal this year in the first place. And, um, and it is very easy. <laughs> it is so easy to, um, to get swayed and to go, oh, well, you know, let me try this and let me try that, especially right now because I'm still no so new to all of this. So I had no idea how this was going to make me feel until I created it, until I put it into my bullet journal. And that's okay too. I'm so glad I tried it. I'm so glad I got, uh, got to put it in here, get a feel for it. And I'm going to go ahead and use it this week and see and maybe that will change my mind but at the moment i'm like i don't i don't want this in my bullet journal so my plan for now is to go ahead and create this second week um and i'm looking forward to doing that on a youtube live so i can share with you all how i created this because it is so simple and easy to do and i think if anyone is looking for inspiration on how to create a very simple weekly layout for their bullet journal i definitely want to share that with you all because i think this is a really fun way to do it, it allows you to bring in a little bit of deco love the fact that you can create a scene here or if you don't want um a, just to decorate this area but want to use it more functionally this would be a great place for a habit tracker or anything like that you've got lots of great space right here you can put a cleaning list of um, um meal prep ideal list for dinners and things like that there's so many different options for this um fun box space here where you can use it either decoratively or functionally and then it's just really simple and easy to go ahead and fill in the rest of your week. So my next YouTube live video will be me filling out the um, next weekly um, layout. Uh, and then I'm probably going to stop there and I may, I'll see how I feel. Uh, but I think, I don't think I'll be doing it on a YouTube live, but I will definitely be adding in my um my bingo page my self-care bingo and my highlights for the month of october um and those i will probably go back to my format of creating a reel and a tiktok for both of those um and and i'll share them on social media that way so this was very much a learning experience for me in setting this up but i'm so glad that it is prepped and ready for me to use for this month and I am so looking forward to using my October bullet journal and I'm also in love with how this came out. I hope this video was helpful and provided a little bit of inspiration if you're looking to create your own bullet journal. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'd be glad to answer and get back to you. And thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next video. Bye.